can I just say something right now? You guys are incredible. I've been reading your comments from my last video and it means so much that you guys enjoy my content and you feel like it's relatable. So thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. This week's topic though, we're gonna be talking about something that I need help on, which is healing my inner child. So basically, I just realized after reading the same fucking book last time I told you guys that I have a lot of inner work to do, okay? Like, I'm just this bruised, broken child, basically. I've been struggling with my inner self-critic. Like, just that little voice in your head that's like, you're not doing enough! You know that what I mean? And this book was saying how people who have that inner self-critic are basically bullying your inner child. And when you put it that way, I'm like, holy fuck, like, why would I want to bully a child, you know? Maybe I need to be more like my inner child, like let my inner child have some space to express itself. I've been feeling like dog shit listening to my little me, 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 inner critic being like, you're not working hard enough, you're so shitty, you know what I mean? So today, I'm gonna spend a day with my inner child, I'm gonna vibe with her. But the first thing we're gonna do to hang out with my inner child is go surfing for the entire day. So you guys know, it's out of my comfort zone to just vibe and not like have a time end point. Like I'm just going surfing as long as I want. Like, that's insane. Can I just say right now, it's 11 a.m. and I just got started for my day surfing. <laughs> talk about healing inner child, talk about Jay just waking up late and like trying to find an excuse for herself. We are here at my favorite surf spot. I'm not gonna say the name just because it's like pretty locals only. Um, that sounds so douchey of me. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I surf, but if you know, you know. Like sometimes in California, like people get super territorial. I try to keep things low key, okay? But if you know, you know. Um, so basically there's very small to zero no waves um i'll show you a little clip right here i'm deciding if i want to go out if i don't go out it would be sad because then i don't get to spend time playing and frolicking if i do go out it's gonna be not that fun because there's not waves <laughs> fuck <sighs> fuck it i think i'm just gonna go why not just go just go just go I'll see you guys in the water. After I surf, I always need to dry my ears or else I will get an ear infection. I just came back from surfing and it was so fun, guys. Like, I met this girl that I didn't expect to meet there and she was just like really cool. We were just talking about like how shitty the waves were, but we we're just still having fun. It just reminded us of like the good old days when we were kids and like we would just play outside with our friends for like five hours after school and it was just so fun. I feel like that was so like cute. Like I'm so happy I went out because I literally wasn't going to. Ooh, ooh, my ears are queen. An artist must have downtime, time to do nothing. Defending our right to such time takes courage, conviction, and resiliency. You already know what drink this is. It's my matcha latte that I make every day. So I just came home, I made a snack, got my matcha, showered, and it's 3 p.m. It's kind of late, honestly. I was listening to my book and it was saying how one way you can kind of heal your inner child relationship is to make a list of 10 things that you would do if it wasn't selfish or if it wasn't too crazy. And I feel like this is a cool exercise because like I personally have a lot of shame and feel like I'm selfish if I'm relaxing or doing these things. So maybe like this exercise could really help me. So let's do this together. We're gonna write the 10 things down and come up with a list because I actually don't know what my answer is. All right, the first thing I would say I would do if it wasn't selfish is lay in bed more without guilt. I just grew up in a very like academically demanding household. My entire existence growing up was like, if you're not doing something, you're doing something wrong. So I honestly wish I could just like lay in bed more. <laughs> Two, launch a skincare, sun care brand. Three, write a book, that'd be crazy. Four, perform at a festival. Five, go on a snowboarding trip alone. Six, launch my merch because I've actually never done that before. Like I've never launched merch before and I really want to, but I feel like no one will buy it. Seven, go on a one month long travel. Eight, have a slow morning and surf every day. Nine, make more YouTube and TikTok videos for you guys. 10, live my best life in LA. I feel like a lot of people in my life have told me to like live somewhere else that are like cheaper or it's like more cost efficient. And like, I feel guilty, but like sometimes I'm just like, fuck it. Like this shit makes me happy, you know? And it's a little selfish, but I'm like, this shit makes me happy. This is what's gonna make me feel like me. But this was a really cool 
exercise and I feel like you guys should do it if you're struggling to figure out like what you really want because sometimes you know what you want but you're not allowing yourself to do it because you're like oh no like that's too selfish and, like when you hear that little inner critic saying like don't do it like you're insane you could be like no bitch I'm listening to my inner child and we're gonna do this thing welcome to cooking with Jade we're gonna make some dinner because it's 5 30 I'm hungry and I just did three hours of work and I want to treat myself. Now I gotta clean this because I just touched my ass. Did I already say what we're making? We're making chicken tikka masala because I have everything I need. All right, so this chicken has been marinating for around 15 minutes. This is the sauce we're gonna use. It's just pre-made from Trader Joe's. You guys, a new episode of The Idol comes out tonight. And you know how I mentioned earlier that I'm really bad at like laying in bed and watching a show because I have guilt? Well, today might be the perfect opportunity to watch the show and spend time with myself and I'm, ex I'm excited. I maybe might need to make a whole video later on of like why I have so many issues with spending time resting because it comes with trauma. Um, I know a lot of you guys can relate. Like I've seen your guys' comments saying like, it's so easy to like give yourself the permission to like have free time when you're spending time with friends or like doing stuff with other people. But when it comes to like doing stuff alone, it's really hard sometimes. We're gonna go saute this chicken. It looks really good. And I'll be right back with the finished product. Ooh, ooh, chef's kiss. Let's try this bad boy. Hopefully this chicken isn't still raw because I don't really cook chicken very well. I honestly can't tell if chicken's raw or not. <laughs> it tastes good though. I'm gonna Google. How do you know chicken is cooked? I think it's cooked. It's cooked. And who wouldn't be grateful after being talked to like that? A part of me feels like this video is so pointless. I want to delete everything, but that's my inner critic talking. You see that? We are making improvements day by day. No one else is gonna help me but myself. Like I initially wanted to title this video healing my inner child, but like I feel like today all I've done is just surf and journal. I could be doing more healing, but for now this is the best we got. I'm making a little quick night snack. It's 8.30 p.m. I usually get ready for bed at this time, but I have these two bananas that are super brown and I feel like they're gonna go bad by tomorrow so I'm gonna make a little a little dessert a little snack okay I'm thinking peanut butter chocolate and banana um if you guys don't know normally I actually like script my videos like not script but like I outline it where like I know what I'm talking about but this video I just like to be honest woke up really hungover <laughs> from yesterday night going out didn't have time to really think about what this video is now I'm like fuck like is this video just dumb because like no point to it. Ew, there's a hair in my banana. But I just know I'm like being way too harsh. And I read your guys' comments and I know a lot of you guys just like to watch something when you're depressed. And like I know for me, I like watching YouTubers that are super honest and like really raw with their problems to make me feel better about my problems. I hope that this video can be that for you, okay? I hope this can just make you smile a little bit if you're having a rough day. I cut up all the little bananas and I'm just gonna put a dollop of peanut butter on each. I just melted some chocolate, so we're just gonna drizzle it, I guess. Bro, oh, wow. I heard adding salt to sweet foods makes it taste better, so I'm doing that. We're gonna put this in the freezer and then I'll let you know how it is. All that's in the freezer, I actually have some leftover chocolate from the chocolate drizzle and I just feel like I'm gonna put some milk in it and make hot chocolate and like call it a night tonight. I feel like that would be the best thing for my inner child. Let's do it, that sounds so smart. Just gonna put some oat milk, mixing the hot chocolate together. Also, if you hear that, that's my sink. I'm sorry, that sounds really atrocious. Oh my God, this is the best thing I've done all day. Oh my God, and you know what's so good about it? You know why I'm so happy about it? It's not because it's like hot chocolate. It's the fact that it's leftover chocolate from another dessert, meaning I didn't waste any food. And if you grew up with Asian parents, you know. This is a W. This is such a good feeling. Oh my god. I'm gonna go enjoy this and read a book. Good night. I love you so much. Comment below Domination if you made it to the end because that would be insane. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye! Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.